I want to thank the organi organizers of this uh, conference uh, for inviting me here. Uh, I certainly have benefited from the uh, esteemed panelists thus far, uh, some great information, uh, and I look forward to uh, hearing more as the day passes. Um, just to give you a little bit more insight uh, to my background, uh, from the Buffalo Fire Department, Commissioner of the Buffalo Fire Department appointed in January of, of uh, 2010. Uh, prior to that, I served as the uh, Chief Fire Administrator, uh, managed uh, headquarters, payroll, uh, all of the promotions and those kinds of things within the department. Uh, worked as the liaison between the Civil Service Commission and the New York State uh, Police and Fire Retirement System. Uh, also served uh, uh, with the EAP coordinator and at times uh, when appropriate actually served as the EAP coordinator in the department. Uh, after that in 2004 I was appointed deputy commissioner of uh, personnel and administration. Uh, many of the duties of the chief fire administrator were rolled into that job uh, as that as the chief fire administration uh, position was eliminated. In 2006 uh, under a new mayor, I was moved to the uh, position of Deputy Commissioner of Emergency Medical Services, and I served in that capacity until uh, 2010 uh, when I was appointed commissioner. Uh, so my experience has been somewhat varied uh, in the department. I've been blessed to be able to do a, a myriad of things, um, uh, and uh, hopefully have benefited from that. Uh, it's, I think it's important to note that during that time, uh, we've gone through in the city of Buffalo two mayors, uh, four commissioners, 15 deputy commissioners, five union presidents, and three human resource directors. Uh, along with that, we have had wholesale changes in our legal department and in our finance department. Uh, I think this is important because it shows, uh, it talks about the continuity of government, continuity of operations, or lack thereof. We've not really had that in the city of Buffalo, and that has uh, uh, hurt us somewhat. <clears throat> uh, as we sit here today, we're approaching eight years in the city of Buffalo without a contract, negotiated or arbitrated. We don't have an agreement in place. Uh, that has driven a lot of the grievances and other issues within the city of Buffalo. And as Chief Stewart talked about a parity, and they're, they're dealing with the issue of parity in the Toronto Fire Department, uh, during those eight years, uh, through arbitration, the city of Buffalo Fire Department has lost parity with the police. That has further exacerbated all of the issues uh, that we deal with with our rank and file. Uh, so do we have grievances in the city of Buffalo? Certainly we do. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, last year upon taking over, uh, we had uh, close to 100 grievances filed uh, within the department, which uh, in a, an average year, I guess we average about 40. Over the last 15 years, we averaged about 40 grievances per year. We had close to 100 last year, and we're on a pace to probably equal that this year. 